Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Off the Gaming here and today I'm playing some more Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So today we are finally gonna be testing out the missile spin build. So a lot of people have talked about this to me over the months, I guess. Over the last couple of months. Um I think I understand the premise behind it, and it's just that Finn, because of his um, Bound by World set of upgrades with PB, gets an absolutely absurd amount of attack speed, which contributes to the missile, which is 50 damage per Moab, so you don't need damage buffs, you just put a ton of attack speed, and then obviously you do a lot of damage with the missile. Uh, so the obviously weapon for this is Finn's sword, and then obviously I have some other basic things, like I have obviously Baker Shard, but... Oops. Uh, every single one of these trinkets here, I accidentally logged out of the game, uh, every single one of these trinkets gives an attack speed boost except obviously the missile. Uh, this one is obviously 50% Baker Shard. Uh, Gumball, like the thing of Gumball's or PB's hair or whatever, is 20%. Cosmic Gauntlet's 15, Heart Gauntlet's 15. Um, whatever these ones are called, these ones are called the Doom Gauntlet's 15. Uh, this is like, it's the one of his medallions that gives him the slicer upgrade it's 10%. Uh, and then this is the Dagger of Chilled Ice, it is also 10%. We also have a few buffs here we're going to be using to Xero Jake as a bit of support with all of these things to give some attack speed as well as damage and other stuff. Um, we have Marcelin for another tiny bit of attack speed, and obviously we have PB because that's pretty important. Uh, so let's just get started. We're going to be doing this on Impossible on Sinister Caves. Sinister Caves. Uh, quite a hard map, but not necessarily a super difficult map. So we will see how well it goes, how powerful we are, if the fin's actually that good. Because <laughs> I really don't know. So I think we're going to place the fin here. I feel like this is a good spot. Yeah, let's go right there. Uh, at which point, let's just straight up plop in our Tuxedo Jake. And we'll get some money making set up. Though I, should, I guess I could go for some Cobras and stuff too. Why is Outer Start not on? I want Outer Start on. Ah uh, yeah, never mind. Let's just go for some Cobras to start off. We'll get some Cobras set up. I've done this the past couple times, but Cobras really are, at least early game, so much more efficient than Tuxedo Jake is. I don't really know why, I just know it's the truth. Tuxedo Jake is nowhere near as efficient as Cobras, at least in the first couple rounds. Uh, simply, I think in part because Tuxedo Jake's upgrades are so expensive, the Cobras are really cheap and they pay themselves off very fast. Um, but Tuxedo Jake is more focused on late game, absurd amounts of money being made. We'll go from Monkey Farmer now, we'll get our last Cobra, and then we can start getting the Tuxedo Jake upgrades. Not that we actually need that much money for this. Finn's not that expensive. Uh, I feel like the Bound by Ward stuff's a little expensive, but nothing's that pricey. Like, really, it's not that bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. I mean, maybe there's some other expenses I'm not thinking of. It's hard to know, but with that... That is all of our money making set up. He's are you can already see those missiles are flying by. We don't even have any other attack speed buffs yet. And this is already how fast the missiles are shooting. He's he's not or he's getting damaged, but he's not actually popping any balloons. It is purely the missiles so far. And these are the normal balloons, you know, the things the missile does one damage to instead of 50. These yellow balloons, that's 200 damage to a Moab. 200 damage to a Moab, it's insane. But at the look of this, once pinks and blacks come, obviously blacks can't pop black balloons. At least not yet. Um, that's obviously pretty bad speaking, which let's, uh, let's fix that. Now, he can pop black balloons, I think. I'm pretty sure it works on the missile. If it doesn't, that kind of sucks for DTs. Um, I guess next, let's pop down Marcelin and Lemon Hope, and finally we'll do PV. PV's a massive boost. Like, I want to say it has to be... At least 50%, but probably closer to like 100% or something like that. So, trust me, it's a big deal, PB's boost. We will get to it, but not quite yet. Uh, first, of all, first off, though, let's do Lemon Hope, because that's a pretty big boost. That did not get applied, I don't think. Um, and then, I think that's everything. I mean, there's a few buffs we could get technically with the Rock Out thing with Texio Jake. But that's not that big of a deal, so I think now it is time to go for PB. I can't, like... Okay, yeah, the missiles are firing stupid fast. That's that's kind of crazy. I feel like the animation's glitching out a little bit there. How to know for sure? Just just maybe a little bit. Um, okay, so we'll go for these two. Not sure exactly how important they are. I'm actually gonna move them up closer. Then I'll change. I changed my mind. It's better to have them closer in range of PB. Maybe she gives a buff to her allies. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I believe now what we can do is... Wait, why can't you buy this? Finn, buy, we're found by... Oh, I didn't actually... 
I haven't bought Finn's actual upgrades yet. So that that uh that may have an impact on the speed at which he can do these things. Bound by word, and now we can go for uh, Royal Promises, which makes it permanent, but also has this weird warning. If you break the Royal Promise by losing lives or by selling Finn or PB, you will instantly lose 50 lives, which means we will instantly die. Yes, I'm sure I want to make the Royal Promise. It's a super good buff. And uh, with that, this is our max attack speed Finn, I think. I don't think I'm missing anything. As you can see, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's pretty powerful, but obviously we really can't say anything until more class balloons come out. I don't know, it's pretty impressive. I was expecting speed, I'm, was, I'm not sure I was expecting this much attack speed. Uh, let's go for just some traditional buffs, we'll go for this. Theoretically, I can also activate this for even more attack speed, plus, eventually, a uh, rock out for an additional attack speed boost. There's a lot of things that boost your attack speed in this game, a stupid, stupid amount of things. Honestly, who knows, maybe I'm missing a trinket or two that also gives him another 2.1% attack speed or something like that. It's more than possible. Uh, but yeah, as you see, $5,500 well, a fame, which is a, I don't know, 10% attack speed boost, something like that. Not that big of a deal, but again, it's something, so we might use it for, like, the bad balloon, but up until the bad balloon, probably not. We'll see. I guess I should also, as per usual, as I always do, get Bass Expert, because I like to do that. Probably doesn't make a difference. Pretty sure it doesn't, but still, why not? Uh, but yeah, the more class balloon will be here in seven rounds, and then we'll get a better test. Though, honestly, it's popping ceramics by itself. Ceramic balloons! <laughs> Think of how absurd that is. That what means that we are sending out, like, 20 missiles per second, basically. Which would be doing, if I do this math correctly, a thousand damage per second to more boss balloons. Oh, this is absurd. <laughs> this is insanely absurd. I do wonder, part of me is thinking that I feel like this would be really good on Senna and Flowins, but at the same time, obviously, Royal Promise and that stuff makes a massive difference. Not to mention, no idea if we can actually get Black Balloon Popping Power without Tuxedo Jake. Um, but still, very crazy. Very, very crazy. I mean, obviously, I guess we still have to sort of wait and see. Next round, the Morabs, we'll see how fast those disappear. I mean, I guess the ceramics will last way longer than the Mo Moabs. Yeah. That, that was something. <laughs> okay, so yeah, note to self. It does a pretty good job dealing with uh, Moa class balloons. It's not that absurd though, I sort of expected it to be faster, but maybe there's a cooldown. I don't know, we'll see. Be it bees or better tests, because of how Moabs work, especially on a map like this where they sort of spawn delayed, uh, it doesn't quite work as well. Not to mention, eventually, Strength will actually reach uh, Finn, and then he will just melt balloons. He does have good damage. He has like 5 or 6 damage per hit because of the Guru Mama meter and stuff, and he still has all these attacks reduced to his actual sword. This is just the trinket. He, I don't think he's hit a single balloon with his sword yet. Eventually, he can hit a lot of balloons with his swords, which will make him even better, which is pretty great. Yeah, this is actually kind of crazy. This is, it's definitely powerful. I sort of knew it would be powerful, but this is a little more than I was expecting. I am interested, what do you guys think? Do you think, or no, I guess, do you know if in Send in the Thrones, is it really good? Or is it mostly the PB buff that makes it this absurd? Because I don't know, I think, I know a couple of people recommend this for Dungeon Finn as well. So maybe it's just that Finn and Dungeon Finn attack so fast, so it's good for both of them. I don't know, is it something that Dungeon Finn's good for too? Or is it pretty much just because, I guess just because, um, what am I trying to say? Right, just because Finn has the Bound by Ward thing, the massive attack speed boost. Because honestly, if I could reach, I... That made no sense, because uh, I said nothing. I'd be really interesting at this point to try uh, Send the Clones again with Dungeon Finn. Now that he has an area effect ability that does so much damage, you could probably just get an absurd amount of DPS just for going with that ability as soon as possible. So, you know, that would be kind of crazy, because I've done one for him, but it's been a while ago. I did it for all, but ex I was going to say except Tuxedo Jake. I have now done it for Tuxedo Jake as well. If you haven't seen that video, it was crazy. Tuxedo Jake is super strong. His ability, it's actually really powerful. If you have, like, 50 of them, like in Sun and Clones, it gets pretty powerful. They were taking on bad balloons, and it was pretty crazy to see. Um, but, yeah, not that important. There would be a bees, right? I feel like I completely skimmed over BFBs, whatever, ZMGs in two rounds. <laughs> Please tell me that's because it died fast and not because I was just completely not paying attention. I feel like it was that second point of me completely not paying attention, but maybe it's because they died super duper fast. 
Maybe we'll find out. I mean, like, he has 89,000 pops. Here's a BFB. How's it going? Okay, no, yeah, it's because they died super duper fast. It's not only because I wasn't paying much attention. Fortified BFB, an even better test. So, yeah, pretty absurd. I think they still, at least for the most part, dealt, well, no, not exclusively, but practically did all the damage from just the missiles. That's pretty good. Let's see the ZMG. Is it fortified? No, it's not. Normal ZMG. Still. Ah, uh, it's dead. It's more abs. It's ceramics. It's yellow balloons. It's nothing. Something tells me we're gonna beat the bad balloon with this setup as long as we can pop DDTs. <laughs> if we can pop DTs, we can beat the bad balloon. If we can't pop DTs, there's gonna be some issues. Definitely some issues, because I have no other DDT, uh, like, popping power setup right now. That was really insane, though. It's kind of weird. It seems like it's attacking in, like, clusters. So the missile attacks, like, a hundred times, and then the second pass, and then it shoots another hundred times. Maybe that's just, like, a visual glitch, or just me interpreting it weirdly. Uh, but, like, based on the changes of stages of the world class balloons, it feels like there's sets of damage, and then there's gaps. Though maybe the gaps are, like, 0.1 millisecond, and I'm just... I'm exaggerating the, like, gap between the missiles. There's, like, a small delay in damage, so I'm like, oh, it's a second passing. That's, that's definitely possible as well. But I don't know, have you guys tried this out? Was this absurd for you? Did, am I missing something obvious? Like, is there another massive attack speed boost I'm missing? Is there a special trinket that just makes it even better? I'd love to know. Fortified ZMG, an even better test. How well does Fortified ZMG get popped? Not absurdly easily, but pretty darn easily. I don't know if he'll be able to take on a Fortified Bad Balloon. Normal Bad Balloon, probably. But if it's a Fortified Bad Balloon, I think we're kind of in trouble. And I don't know if it will be. Um... Yeah, I really don't know. Like, realistically, I'm, I want to beat this map. <laughs> I picked this map because it's one of the like it's the only map in this set that I haven't beaten in Popalon yet. And I've tried this map so many times for so many challenges, and they always fail. So I'm gonna, like, make myself win no matter what. Okay, so Fortified DAT is not that bad. I'm nervous for the bad balloon. If it's not fortified we have a decent chance. If it's fortified, we're really gonna struggle, which is not good. It does have a little bit of splash radius, I think. Like, it is an explosive damage. So, I don't know, maybe it has a lot of pierce, maybe it can pop multiple wounds at once, not quite obvious. Yeah, Fortified DET is really not that big of a problem, good to know we can pop them with Tuxedo Jake, though I'm pretty sure without Tuxedo Jake we would not be able to, though I think that's pretty obvious. I mean, yeah, no, it, it works pretty well. <laughs> the one issue with, uh, with actually using Bound by Ward, especially in Impoppable, when you don't have many lives, if it's not impoppable, like if it's motion game and stuff, you're fine. But in impoppable, if you leak alive and you have a reviving thing like Time Machine or something, you still die. Because you die, and then because you lost a life, you lose 50 lives, and then you die again. So depending on how you die, and depending on timing and stuff, you can just straight up die twice, or even three times in a row, because you have Bound by Ward activated. It's a little odd, and it can definitely be pretty bad. Round 74, interesting test for this. How well does it do against the massive clusters of ceramics? Not well at all. I said not well at all. Don't let us lose to this. Fin clone. Fin clone. Save me. And we died. Don't kill me twice. I didn't die twice. Yes. Wait, did we? Does that count as beating round 74? I don't know if it does. I feel as if I need to get some backup DPS, though. Maybe... Maybe plop you in the corner, C4 Charlie, so I have the more up ready, if nothing else. No, it's around 74 again. Okay, so, um, Super Monkey in? Because, like, this is fine, whatever, but this is ceramics. This isn't really what I'm testing here. So I feel as if I should probably pop in some extra DPS here. If this is enough, if this isn't enough, then that's just really bad. This is the maximum number of damage I can do. We're good, right? We're good. I will turn auto start off so I can sell Super Monkey beforehand. I will keep C4 Charlie here so we have the more up in case. Yeah, so that kind of sucks, obviously. I didn't really want to plop down a Super Monkey. So we can't technically beat all rounds, all 75 rounds. But I mean, the real issue here is simply that... Ceramics, it still does one damage to Ceramics. So it's a massive Ceramic cluster. It's hard to pop. So yeah, with just the missile, it doesn't really do the job. So round 75, this is the real test. It is indeed fortified. We'll see how good damage we do. Look at that, it stopped doing damage. 
Our DPS is good, but it's not like absurd, and then it stops. We're dead. We're definitely dead. Do I have a second revive? I think I have a time machine going. We'll see. I think I have a time machine. Boom, boom, boom. All the attack speed boosts in the world. Make sure I can win this. Please tell me I can win this. Like, again, damage. We're doing good damage, but not nearly as much as you need. Like, that's our first damage phase, I think. The missiles aren't coming down. Why is that? I'm honestly really confused. Is there a maximum number of missiles that can hit one target? Nope, there we go, missile- and they're gone. Nope, they're here. Because they're doing damage. I just don't see them. And they're gone again. That is, uh, strange, to say the least. Okay, so, please tell me I still have time machine. I think I still have time machine buff. Should still have time machine buff. Should still have time machine buff. And I did not! Great! I need to start using treasure chest keys again so I can actually do this. Okay, so, same idea, but this time around, I'm doing Mob Assassin selling, and I'll plop a super monkey in the back. I have no idea what was going on there. It seems like this happens a lot with absurdly overpowered things. They seem to just not want to work properly. So, um, I ended up with just the missile not working for, like, half of that. That kind of sucked. Like, I get when it's under the walls, but it was just- the missile just stopped attacking, which is very strange. So, C4 Charlie spam is my solution. It's a pretty good solution, it adds a stupid amount of damage, one of the most efficient ways to pop a fortified bad balloon. Uh, especially if you don't really want to add too much DPS, this really just pops that layer pretty fast, adds a ton of extra damage here, and then the insides can be dealt with other things, or by other things. Part of the reason why we've Sumac here, though I can't actually use it while he's stuck in the cave. Uh, let's use the Finflow now, actually. Uh, come on, any second now we can use this missile. Boom, awesome. Sell. Rebuy, repeat, let's give some attack speed boost, sure, why not? <laughs> There's no real reason not to. Uh, I'm assuming, second last one, no, this one, oh no, there we go, it's dead, never mind. I was like, I'm assuming this is the second last one, no. Okay, so, to be fair, obviously, um, Super Monkey's there, he's helping out there. So, overall, that was pretty powerful, that was pretty darn good. Obviously, I had a super amount of buffs there, I had a lot of powerful gear, but that was still pretty impressive, I like that. Um, that would be kind of cool to try on Sun and the Clones, but it's hard to know if it would suck because there's no DT popping power. I don't know. We do have a diamond chest here, so we have a free epic wish open stuff, which is great. Not to mention, I think it's a thousand coins, so that might pay for our continue. 300 coins. I was very, very wrong. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching. I will say this now. Obviously, I'm not quite done. I'm gonna open the epic wish orb. Uh, but thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It's really great. I appreciate it. Let's go another Billy. Billy's pretty great. Uh, but yeah, we're on our way to 2,500 subscribers, so it'd be great if you subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, maybe share the channel with a friend. Maybe they'll subscribe too. Who knows? Cursed Ice Ring, you're interesting. I wouldn't mind having more of you. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!